The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Glory to you, O Lord. There was a feast of the Jews, and Jesus went up to Jerusalem. Now there is in Jerusalem, at the ship gate, a pool called in Hebrew, Bethesda, with five porticos. In this lay a large number of ill, blind, lame, and crippled. One man was there who had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there and knew that he had been ill for a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be well? The sick man answered him, Sir, I have no one to put me into the pool when the water is stirred up. While I am on my way, someone else gets down there before me. Jesus said to him, Rise, take up your mat, and walk. Immediately the man became well, took up his mat, and walked. Now that day was a Sabbath. So the Jews said to the man who was cured, It is the Sabbath, and it is not lawful for you to carry your mat. He answered them, The man who made me well told me, Take up your mat and walk. They asked him, Who is the man who told you, Take up and walk? The man who was healed did not know who it was, for Jesus had slipped away since there was a crowd there. After this, Jesus found him in the temple area and said to him, Look, you are well. Do not sin anymore so that nothing worse may happen to you. The man went and told the Jews that Jesus was the one who had made him well. Therefore the Jews began to persecute Jesus because he did this on a Sabbath. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. You've been hearing the word Bethesda, Bethsaida, Bethsahur, or Bethlehem. Those are Hebrew words where the word Beth means house. Bet means house. When you say Bethlehem, Lehem means bread. So Bethlehem means house of bread. House of bread. When you say Bethesda, Beth house, Tesda in Hebrew means charity. So, the place where Jesus healed the crippled man is the house of charity. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, yesterday I have said that God takes delight on people who have faith. Faith is not something that God cannot demand. It is something we do it comes from within. It doesn't mean when you say, I believe, you have faith. Faith means there is a complete trust on God. Merong pagtitiwala. In the midst of the many questions, perhaps in the midst of many illogical things, in the midst of many doubts, you can still say to God, I trust you. Look at the conversation. Do you want to be healed? The desire to be healed must always come from within. The desire to be healed must always come from within. 
kahit sino, kahit ang Diyos, hindi niya maipipilit sa isang tao na ito'y pagalingin kung wala itong pagnanasang gumaling. We have to remember that. To be blessed must come from within the desire to be blessed, to prosper, to be forgiven. As Saint Thomas of Aquinas have said this, Grace builds in nature. Ang biyaya ay palaging namumukadkad sa isang mula sa isang pagkatao. Sa iyan, sa iyo nang gagaling niya kahit kahit anong buhos ng biyaya ng Diyos. Kung ikaw naman ay nakatakip, ayaw mong buksan ang iyong sarili, wala kang matatanggap na biyaya. Kahit magsabog ang Diyos ng kagalingan, Lalong-lalo na sa panahon na ito ng pandemya, ng COVID na ito, nagbibiroan na sila. Ang tawag na dito, Corona by, bar, ano? Barius. Corona by, hindi na virus eh, Barius na. Ano po? Sa dami na daw ng variant. Ano po? Ha? Hindi mo na. Nanganak na ng nanganak. But last Sunday, someone sent a message. Sabi niya, why not include in the oratio imparata for, for, for coronavirus the word, I repent. I repent. Why not include in the prayer that people should express the repentance? Because regardless how good God to you, if you cannot If you will not, if you don't want to accept that there was something wrong, there is something wrong in our lives that prevents God from giving us the grace. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, as I have said, paulit-ulit ito, nakakasawa na. You are sick sometimes or you are made poor Because of three things, you have problems. Your life crumbles because of three things. Either you are doing sin, either you are disobeying God, or you don't want to learn what God has been trying to teach you. You know that charity, charity must be freely given and it must be freely received. Charity is something freely given and must be freely received. You cannot solicit charity. You cannot demand. It is, must be freely given. As I have said, the love of God is inclusive, encompassing, immeasurable. And yet, those who ask for it, those who want to receive it, must say, I want. I want. If you, are, if you are listening carefully to the gospel, the sick man was there for 38 years. 38 years. Perhaps Jesus has counted the years. Because If you have been to Holy Land, I guess you can still remember the pool of Bethesda is near the house of Saint Anne. The house of Saint Anne. Sino ba si Saint Anne? Ang lola ni Jesus. Kanino ba nagpupunta mga apo kadalasan? Sa lola. Sa lola nagpupunta ang apo. Sa madalit sabi, kung si Jesus ay dinadala ni Mary sa bahay ng lola niya, kung saan, if you can go, if, if you still remember, those have been to, to the house of Saint Anne na may stairs pa baba. And one of the rooms there nakalagay, it is the birthplace of Mary. The birthplace of Mary. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, 38 years, yung mga nag, nag, nagtatrabaho sa korte 
alam ninyo, pag sinabing kinulong ka ng habang buhay, that is 40 years. 40 years. You have almost lost all your life for being sick because you have failed to recognize the charity of God. Don't waste your life. Don't waste your life. You can never reason before God. You can, you can deceive people, but you can never deceive God. Makakakuha ka ng kakampi sa mundong ito. Dala ng iyong magaling na pangangatuwiran. Pero kahit kailan, hindi ka pwede mga tuwiran sa harapan ng Diyos. Charity is freely given, it is freely received. What is the first reading trying to tell us? All grace, all, all graces comes from the temple. From, it comes from God. And water flowing symbolizes life. Depende kung saan mo gustong pumunta. Depende kung saan mo gustong tumungtong. Ang biyaya, sabi nga, hanggang tuhod lang para sa iba. Ang biyaya hanggang bewang lang para sa iba. Pero doon sa higit na naniniwala, ang biyaya ay hindi mo na matatarok sapagkat kahit kailan, ang Diyos ay hindi nagmamadamot. My dear friends, my brothers and sisters, Faith is something you have to express. It cannot be demanded from you. Remember that charity is freely given. It is also freely received. Amen. This coming Sunday, we will be blessing or we'll have a special blessing for all couples celebrating their wedding anniversary for this month of March. So, if you are joining us online, both Masses 9 and 12.15, we will have a special blessing. Second, you know that this COVID has been more infectious than before, please take double or extra precautions on how to keep your safe, yourself safe. Do not forget to wear mask. Always sanitize your hands. Avoid close contact. Keep physical distancing. Avoid being in a confined places. Huwag matigas ang ulo. Ano pa? Sabi nila, the best attitude is to think that all people you encounter are sick people. So you avoid, you distance. So, ang pag-iisip, lahat ito may sakit. So, avoid. Avoid them. And second, ikaw yung may sakit. Kaya dapat hindi ka dumidikit sa mga tao. Ano pa? So, think not only of yourselves, but for the people around you. Because of this sudden rise, of COVID positive, we have decided that we will stop for a while our isang kaning isang ulam. We will have it today, but this coming Thursday and Saturday, hindi muna tayo mamimigay. Hopefully next Tuesday, it will be a better day. Ano pa? I was been thinking about them. Higit nilang kailangan pero we are told to to stop it for a while. Going back to what I've said, you know that faith is something it cannot be demanded. It is something that is freely expressed. You ask yourself, do you really have faith in God? And charity like faith 
in the house of charity, in the house of God, charity is freely given. It must also be freely received. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. Grant, O merciful God, that your people may remain always devoted to you and may constantly receive from your kindness whatever is for their good through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you and your family, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. We now go, we now go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.